everyone, so I had a message a few weeks ago to say, have you tried Sheen for like camping stuff and just outdoorsy bits? And honestly, I that never crossed my mind. I always thought Sheen was more of just a clothing shop. I've only used it twice ever. Um, and I thought I'd have a look. And I went on online, I went onto the app and what do you know? They do so much stuff. They do loads of homeware stuff as well. So I made an order and um, I like the fact that they have loads of different coupons and it's free delivery and whatever. That always, you know, is a bonus. So anyway, I picked up my order, massive order. So I'm gonna show you what I got. We're going camping this year. We haven't been camping since 2017 for reference. We've pretty much got everything. There's just a few things, that I, like extra things that I wanted to get that I knew would be great for not just camping, but um, the festival. Okay, obviously. so just bear in mind, everything is heavily plastic wrapped. So I'm gonna be unwrapping quite, well, all of it. But I've just done these two. So these are actually water carriers. I thought they'd be useful to get. I think, I, I wanna say we've got like a proper water butt in the loft, but I don't think we're gonna take that. I think we just take a couple of water carriers. We've got our bottles, water bottles. I think we'll be okay. Um, there's obviously showers and toilets and stuff, so we're not gonna need like a massive amount of water to lug around everywhere. But I thought these little carrier ones would probably be a good choice, hopefully. This, I think they're both, I think this one's a five liter and this one's like a three liter. But um, they both come with lids, but they also come with this spout, water spout as well. I just gotta basically just set them up so you can have it it should be full and then you sit it on a table and then you can use the spout to kind of decant water and this one's just a pour but um yeah so i got those because i thought they'd be quite handy obviously because it just holds a bit more water than our own water bottle so these are basically knives forks openers spoons in one which i thought would also be quite good for miles because he's only three and a half and i just feel like they'd be quite good but yeah so it came as a pack of five i think these were about four pounds or something i thought they'd be quite good um as just extras and they're just a little bit different they're kind of more of a multi tool in one you know if you just wanted to take one with you so we've got those it comes in a little pouch as well to keep them together. I got a tent flag, I've wanted one of these and actually I follow a group on Facebook um, saying that tent flag's quite good because it's easy for you to find your tent again, especially if you know, you're know you surrounded by loads and loads of tents, potentially the same tent as yours. So I thought a tent flag would be good. We can kind of put it at any point. This was about three pounds. Um, you just gotta hope not everyone's got this tent flag, I suppose. But yeah, I thought that was quite cute. Another thing I got is this rug. Um, I must admit, I like, I do like Sheen for their reviews. Um, you can guarantee that pretty much everything has a review, whether it be good or bad. Um, so it's quite good to obviously know when people are like, oh, that's quite thin, or that's not great quality, or blah, 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 that broke really quickly, um, or that was really great. Um, this rug was kind of hit and miss because they did say it was quite thin, felt like a shower curtain. It does feel like a shower curtain, but actually I wanted something, it's quite lightweight, um, and that's kind of what I wanted. Um, it's quite a big size. See the smiley faces? Um, I think this was about a fiver, but I wanted something quite lightweight, quite thin, because it's gonna go in the trolley. Something that's wiped clean, which this is, and you can actually put it in the washing machine. So yeah, I think for what I need it for, it's gonna be quite useful for when we're sitting around, having, you know, the festivals and having just, you know, we're gonna have our chairs anyway. This is just a little bit of extra. I think this would be great for um, shower proofing as well. Or even a rug in the tent would be good. It's quite soft. So we've got some little lights to go inside. I didn't realize there were stars and balls. I can't actually remember. Um, these look really cute. So it's got the ball balls and it's got these little stars as well. Again, this was about five pounds. 
you just put batteries in them and I'm just going to pin them up inside the tent. We have like a little pod as well. So that goes inside the tent and there's two separate rooms. So I just want to, you know, just lighten the space a bit without having some really bright lights because we usually have like a little night night for miles at home. So I think these would be quite useful. So I've got those. They have so many different types of lights. I wasn't too sure what to go for. So I'm hoping they're not going to be too bright. It did in the picture look like a warm, a warm light. I've got those. Ping, well, I'd say camping, but it's actually like a little kind of, it looks like a sprinkle shaker, but I actually thought this would be great for salt and pepper or any sort of um, spices or it without it being too big, you know? So yeah. Oh, that's what it's going like on summer holidays anyway um yeah so it's i think this would be useful just you know salt and pepper i can add like a herb or a spice or anything particular that i want to put in there um and just you could put sugar in one of them genius um or cinnamon but yeah it's just it saves taking a whole salt and pepper grinder with us and it's just compact it's a little olive oil sprayer actually this would be good good for camping but i thought this would be good for home as well because i love i actually really do love just using olive oil rapeseed oil but I, a lot of the time i get the spray bottle ones as well like you know the ones that are in already like decanted in a spray bottle but realistically it'd be quite nice to use the proper stuff and not the kind of highly processed you know it sprays out white if you know what i mean so um yeah I thought I'd get one of those. So we've got some like travel pouches. So I decided to get, you know, like travel cubes and stuff. I'm really, really, really wanting to not overpack. But I've had packing cubes previously. I have a few, but I don't know where half of them went. So this is a little packing cube set. So it's got a couple of pouches here with zips. And then we've got the clothing cubes, different sizes. I just thought they'd be super useful. I've got this one as well. This one's actually in the reduced section. It's a little zip cheese top. You know when you like got the cheese? But yeah, so that's the biggest one. And then there's loads of smaller ones inside. I think this pack would be great for like divvying up Miles's socks and pajamas and trousers and dressing up clothes and whatever in when pack when packing because his clothes are tiny anyway. I did actually end up getting myself a little black crossbody bag, just a tiny one. I think you can actually use this as like a waist bunny pack, bum bag, whatever you want to call it. But also, I think it'd be quite nice. I need to adjust it a little bit. But, um, you know, just uh, keep keep stuff safe and close to you. This was, again, a few pounds. I did it in a few colours. It's very unisex. Graham can throw this on. Alistair could, you know, whatever, violet. Um, but I've heard a lot about pickpocketing phones at the moment in festivals and concerts. So I want to keep, you know, the important stuff safe. So I thought that would be really, really useful for that because we're going to have a big backpack but sometimes you put your backpack down don't you and I don't really want to put like the valuables in the backpack it's just going to be like the essential foods drinks whatever but oh we've got some more more of the um pouches the travel pouches grey ones obviously we're a family of five so I, need, I do need quite a lot um and then I also got some like travel pouches which I think I me and Vi will use I thought these would be so good for when we go away like just generally travel so we've got this little one here it's got like compartments and it could be a good first aid little pouch um i think violet could put her toiletries in there we've got a couple more travel compartment thingies so this one is one that you just hang up which I think would be really good for in the shower. You can put all the toiletries in there, hang it up. I feel like I had something like this many, many years ago. Don't know what happened to it, but I think that would be quite useful. This one is a wires, so like you can 
put all your wires in. Uh, again, this was about three, three-ish, four pounds, something like that. Um, like travel charges and stuff because we always, all of us have all got charges. So it'd be good just to, you know, put them all in one pouch, knowing that you're not going to lose them. Um, different adapters and whatever and then there's this tiny one as well which I think actually would be a really good first aid one paracetamol you know plasters you can put that in your backpack and away you go um, it's got like little compartments in there I think this was about 150 so yeah and then the last couple of things I got these little soap what are they called soap hand soap papers I thought they'd actually come in a little plastic container because that's the downside is that you don't really want them to get wet. So the whole point is that you take a little paper and get one out. Take a little paper. When you wash your hands, you put it under the tap and it makes soap. Oh yeah, and it smells like a bar of soap actually. It's like they've just sliced it. Um, so yeah, I thought that'd be really useful for when, you know, we're just in in using the toilets and stuff. We've got hand sign or whatever, but I don't know, I just thought that'd be quite useful. It's just a shame it's not in a plastic container. I might have to get myself one. I have to dig through. I've got loads of different Tupperware bits, but I might have a small one for this. The thing I got is one of those air loungers. So it's, you basically run around with it, catch the air, and then you roll it up and snap it together. This was eight pounds. I thought this would be, yeah, look at it, it comes in a bag. I thought this would be really good um, outside the tent, you know, if you just wanna lounge on something inside the tent as like a sofa. Um, but yeah, it's actually rainbow colored. But you you basically just run around, catch the air, and then it's really hard to describe. I might be able to stick a picture in, but it looks really cool. And I've seen these about, and it was eight pounds compared, like considering um, they, these can be really expensive. And it's a tr it's like flat pack, isn't it? Really. Okay, I've got one last tiny tiny thing. This is on a keychain. I I didn't realise it was this small actually, but I think this would be really useful. Um, it's basically a little tiny, kind of like a Stanley knife, I would say. Um, I just thought it would be really useful just to have on my keys, or you can attach it to something in, you know, in the tent for cooking. You know, when you just, if you've got your scissors, it's, you just want to open something, I think that would be really useful. I just feel like it's just something when you're camping you might need, you know? So anyway, that is everything I got from Sheen. I'm well impressed. Um, yeah, I actually got some really useful bits and there was so much more, honestly. They have so much stuff. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stay tuned for some camping vlogs because I might add in, let me know if you wanna see, but I might do like a camping, like this is what we're taking. Um, I've got like a list that I could always Put on screen as well so you can print it out or whatever because you know it's surprising when you're camping and when you're camping with three children you need a lot of stuff but you need the right stuff you don't want to overpack loads of crap that you don't need because space obviously is very limited and yeah you kind of need the balance of like comfort and then like not slumming it but like you know the wilderness of camping and enjoying it um so anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're having a great summer if it started yet we are on the countdown we've got like three days till summer holidays but yeah i will see you in my next one